Hey viewers, I'm John. And I'm Allie. And we're the, the Energy, Energy Crew. Crew. Hey, I have a question. Yeah? Out of all the renewable energy sources we use to create green energy, which one is used the most in the U.S. today? What a great question. What would your guess be? I don't know. Solar? Wind? Good try, but neither of those are used the most. Then which one is it? Hydro. Hydropower? What's that? Hydropower is electricity generated using the energy of fl moving water. Sounds complicated. Don't worry, it's not. How do they capture the energy of flowing water? One of the first methods used was mills, which are places in a river that had a water wheel that uses buckets to pick up flowing water. And that kinetic energy is used to turn the wheel, and that energy is used to power the mill. I think I've seen one of those before, but I didn't know that's how they worked. The more modern hydropower plants have three parts. An electric plant where electricity can be produced, a holding place for the water, and a dam that controls the water flow. Want to know how it works? Of course. The water behind the dam flows through and spins a turbine by pushing the blades. Once those turbines spin, they are used to create electricity. That's awesome, but how much energy can these dams really make? That's a good question, but it depends on how much water flows and the distance that it flows. You remember learning about potential energy and how higher up an object is, it has more? Nope. Well, the higher up the water starts, the more potential energy it has. And that means more kinetic energy. I guess that makes sense. How much of the world's energy is created by flowing water? Hydroelectric power provides one-fifth of the world's power. Whoa, that's amazing. It is, really. And all this electrical energy created in dams can be transported over long distances. Wow, hydroelectric power sounds like the perfect way to create electricity. It may seem like the best option and the most environmentally safe, but there are a few drawbacks to the system just like any other method of obtaining and creating renewable energy. Like what? Many people debate that dams can be harmful to the environment because dams can disrupt river habitats and damage fish populations who need to swim upstream to spawn. But they are coming up with new ways to make damming safer for plant and animal life. 